Hola, today we will be solving this problem called two sets. So your task is to divide the numbers 1, 2, 2, n into two sets of equal sum. And this is not always possible, so we only have to do this when it's possible, otherwise we have to point out that it isn't. So example here for n equals 7. The answer is yes, and one possible way of doing so is having 1, 2, 4, 7 in the first half and 3, 5, 6 in the second set. And for 6, it's not possible. So, how could we approach this problem? Since we want the two sets to have equal sum, we could we need to find what this sum would be equal to and that's not too hard to figure out so let's try to find that out so basically we, we will we have a large set s that has number 1 to, to n and we want to break this down into two sets s1 and s2 and their size should be equal so first of all what is the sum of all elements of this set so this is just 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n and we saw this before this is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2 and so s should be equal to s1 plus s2 and also s1 should be equal to s2 this implies that s1 equals s2 equals s over 2 so this would be equal to n times n plus 1 over 4 and here since this is a fraction and this sum is an integer so it is necessary for n or n plus 1 like for the numerator to be divisible by 4 otherwise this construction will not be possible so if n were to be equal to 6 then this would be equal to 6 times 7 over 4 that would be 42 over 4 and this is equal to 10.5 so that's why it is not possible to construct a solution for this now uh, is it always uh, if this condition is met that is if n times n plus 1 divided by 4 is an actual integer is it always possible to to break it down into two sets so in order to answer this question, we, it is sufficient to come up with a construction that would always work. Let's try to find one. So what we could do is we could expand on this idea of a set. Like try to construct S1 and S2 progressively. So let's say, so now we know that the target is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2, uh, over 4. And we could start by putting all our element or our elements in S1. So here we'd have numbers 1, 2. Uh, for this example, let's take n to be equal to 7. So if n is 7, this is 7 times 8 over 4. So this is equal to 14. So in this set, we would have all numbers from 1 to 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And progressively we would start moving numbers to S2 one thing to notice is that this the sum of all these elements is actually equal to 28 
so it is twice as much as this value so if we start by taking elements from here subtracting them from this value and then putting them here this value would eventually be equal to zero so it would be equal to zero and it would be uh, before being equal to zero it would be equal to some value here and that would solve our problem so if we see here we take seven we take it from here put it here and this becomes seven if we take six from here put it here and this becomes one sorry this becomes one and now one exists here so it is enough to bring it over here and this becomes zero so the size the the sum of elements in s2 is equal to 14 and this would be equal to 28 minus s2 minus 14 so that would be equal to 14 too so that's pretty much it we're gonna put all elements in a set set our target to this value and start taking elements from uh, t equal n and every time we go t minus minus and eventually this value this target value will be here will meet a value here that after uh, moving to the other side we would all solve the problem so let's go ahead and code it so let's go ahead and code our solution we will be given a, an n so since we will be calculating the sum of all numbers from 1 to n and that that sum is quadratic in n so we'd rather declare them declare n as long long and we would read n and let's make our second addition to our template since we'll be using long long a lot let's make a type def so type def long long as ll then here we could just use ll instead of long long so let's calculate our sum so ll sum equals n times n plus 1 over 2 and if the sum is odd then there is no way we can break it into two equal sets so the answer here is no else an answer always exists and we have a way to generate it so we'll start by declaring our two sets by the the answers to the problem and these will contain long longs so set of ll s1 and s2 and let and let's declare our target which would be equal to n over 2 and this is a valid operation because n is i mean some sorry so sum over 2 and this is valid in this scope because sum is even in this scope we said as long uh, and we also need a, a value t which would be equal to which would be equal to n to begin with and it would be the the value we take away from target at each step so as long as our initial set before this we need to add all elements to our initial set so for int i equals 1 and i less than or equal to n i plus plus s1 dot insert i so now all the elements are in s1 and we will move some of them to s2 starting by n and we will keep repeating this process as long as target does not exist in s1 a way to check if an element is in s1 is through the method uh, count so if we'll keep repeating this while count of target is equal to zero 
and as long as this is valid we will do the following first we will move t from s1 to s2 so s2 dot insert t s1 dot erase t and we will decrement t so t minus 1 and then when this loop is over s1 will contain our target so we will do the following so s1 dot erase target s2 dot insert target and for all elements now all what we are left with is to paint the answer so we'll start by painting the size of s1 we will paint all elements in s1 and we will do the same thing for s2 we'll paint the size of s2 and its elements that should do it so for 7 what's wrong oh we need to take away so target minus t so this works let's submit it it worked thank you for watching see you in the next video bye